Hey, how you doing? In this video, I wanted to celebrate Jimmy Duresta's new TV series on Netflix, so I thought since I'm currently in a drawing phase, right Jimmy, I'm gonna do a drawing of a portrait of him. And since the new show is called Making Fun, you'll have to stick around for more than a minute and 34 seconds to see what I do next. The first time I met Jimmy Duresta was in Cleveland, Ohio, and I have video of it too. It was a really dark bar that we met at, but you know, you can go check it out. It's on my channel if you want to see it. So the first thing I did was to go to Instagram to find a picture of Jimmy Duresta that looked fun to draw. I didn't want to spend too much time looking for a photo that said draw me, so I took the first one that grabbed my eye, which happened to be this one, taken by a professional photographer named Mark Adams. You can see his work on Instagram at Mark Adams Pictures or MarkAdamsPictures.com. Sometimes when working on a project and I need a break, I feel the urge to... Stare at the phone. Stare at the phone. Um. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yep, foam. If you haven't seen the first episode of Making Fun on Netflix, then, well, you probably don't get the joke about the foam. So anyway, this guy, Jimmy Duresta, has had a positive influence on my creativity for over 10 years now. Ever since I saw him and his brother go to flea markets, buy some junk, and turn it into gold, I've been hooked. Watching and following ever since. Here's a little something personal. I took a long break from creating, making, and sharing. You know, no videos on YouTube, no pictures on Twitter or Instagram. I was pretty quiet for a long time, suffering from a pretty serious back injury. And only a few people took time out of their lives to ask me where I have been and what happened. A whole whopping three people. And you want to know who one of those three people was? It was this guy, Mr. Jimmy DeResta. Totally out of the blue and unexpected, but it really meant a lot. Well, now's the time. I'm sure you've all been waiting for the part where I make fun of Jimmy Duresta. <laughs> nah, you didn't think I was actually going to make fun of him, did you? Well, unless you think drawing a caricature of him is making fun. I mean, the process is sure is fun, so I guess I'm the one that's making fun because... I'm having fun. Oh, I think it's starting to look like him. Yeah. Hey, I don't know what to, what to say. That would be funny in this point here because like, you know, I, I don't want to make fun of him. So, I mean, I'm going to draw a caricature of him that could be considered making fun of him, but I'm not really trying to make fun of him.
It's now time for another break. Should I stare at some foam? Stare at some foam. Stare at some foam. Ow. Maybe next time I should just play with bubble wrap. Now that the caricature drawing is finished, I take a photo of it, and working with my iPad, I adjust the brightness and contrast. Then I convert it to black and white using the default photo editing options. I then import it into the Procreate app so I can add some color to it. I usually redraw the entire caricature on a new layer, and then add the color. But for this one, I wanted to keep the original drawing and have it show through. To do this, I create a layer above the imported photo and change the blend style to multiply. This makes all colors and brush strokes you add to that layer semi-transparent, kind of like a watercolor wash. Remember to keep in mind if you are using this technique, your colors will appear darker when applied to the sketch, so it is helpful to add an additional layer with a normal blend setting. I then use that layer to add highlights and additional details like hair. And here is the actual time-lapse video recorded by the Procreate app. Well, that's gonna be all for this one. Thanks for watching. How about hitting that like button and leaving a comment or two? I'd really appreciate it. Be sure to check out Jimmy to rest this new series called Making Fun, streaming now on Netflix. This is Brandon from Artismia. Keep practicing and we'll catch you next time.